Hi everyone, it's Jo Carter here. Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be something a little different. It's going to be a cover competition or my three favourite covers that I have read from the last six months. I'm hoping to do these videos quarterly if it kind of works and is interesting but I just want to showcase some of the covers that I have enjoyed and some of the covers that I really think are gorgeous because aside from the inside of a book and the content being really interesting also what can draw you to a book are the covers so I just wanted to talk about what I really liked about some covers but because I didn't think of it until now I'm only going to be doing it from January the start of this year to June so it'll be a six month period. The book coming in third place is Altogether Dead by Charlene Harris and I'm just going to bring my laptop over here so I can look at the cover while I'm talking to you and I'm going to have a picture inserted up here. What really draws me to this cover is I really like the colour schemes of it. I love how the background is purple and like it's kind of got creepy trees and a moon in the distance, but I also find the girl on the cover really appealing. I suppose that's supposed to be Suki. Something I tried to push into my head going through my teenage years that myself as a Caucasian woman who has white skin, that I shouldn't try to unnecessarily tan to fit in with whatever the beauty standards were of the day, which in my my case and in my high school was to be tanned skin. Pale skin has always been thought of as a bad thing, at least for... <laughs> It, it sounds like such a silly thing and it's a hard to put because I don't know how to talk about it that much but a lot of comments that at least I've received in my small town with my pale skin is oh you're so pale like get out in the sun and lately I've sort of started to respond to people by saying do you want me to get skin cancer so there's a lot of sort of mental work that I tried to do to myself to recognize the fact that it doesn't like it doesn't matter what skin color you have your natural skin color is beautiful and for me that happens to be pale I'll walk around with shorts on with my bright white legs and I shouldn't have to feel judged for having pale skin for not going out in the sun for not tanning so that's why the woman on the cover really appeals to me because it's showcasing beautiful pale skin and for me I think that the character actually looks really gorgeous like that I just think it's such a shame that people get judged on their skin colour. Be living under a rock or really trying to bury your head in the sand if you weren't aware of the Black Lives Matter movement in that people are judged for being too dark I don't really have much to complain about in this respect like I receive one or two comments in summer or something like that about how I'm too pale and it can't really sort of compare to someone who is judged unfairly because of how dark their skin is and I don't you know I don't really understand how people feel that way because I can quite easily hide from it and I obviously get a lot of privilege because I have white skin and even if I was slightly tanned I would still probably re receive that privilege because my skin is not quote unquote too dark like it's it's <sighs> You know, when are we going to be in a world where people are stopped being judged by their opinion? And I like feel sort of really grateful that I'm alive during the time that people are trying to actively push against that and trying to overcome that and I'm trying to support it as much as I can by educating myself. The book that I'm choosing to come in second place is Great Pioneer Women of the Outback by Susanna DeVries. I actually read this one on audiobook so I didn't get to keep a copy of this cover but I just really love how they've mashed in the Outback setting at the top with the tin shack but then also how they've really skillfully blended in the three women's faces which I'm guessing they would be from three different time periods or like you know these this is not a picture of women together this is they've taken three different images and they've sort of blended it together so that it looks not out of place at all they actually really look nice together I also do like the hint of the um, blue gray Australian sky as well at the top I think that's really pretty and my absolute favorite for this six month period is The Search which is the second library bind up of the Avatar comics. I really love how it's got the almost all of the well no actually it doesn't have the main gang on the cover it's got Avatar it's <laughs> Avatar it's got Aang, Katara, Sokka, Zuko and Azula on the front. I love how colourful it is. I love how in this centre, because we don't have Toph there, we're sort of missing the greenery. Like we've got some blue 
and we've got some red for the fire but we're kind of missing a bit of green and I like how they've shown that around the background there with all the vines and the white in the center kind of holds it all together and doesn't overwhelm with the rest of the covers it's sort of something that's just really simple but because of how well all the colors come together it's my favorite to be honest as I'm having a look at my list on Goodreads of what I have read this year I haven't read a lot of pretty covers most of them are kind of so-so so I'm really looking forward to <laughs> continuing on with that and seeing how that goes. Surprisingly, this conversation got more heavy than I thought it was going to be with the quick sort of conversation on skin colour. But yeah, let me know if you like this video or not. It's going to be a really quick one, but it's kind of fun. I'd love to do some kind of voting system to see what you guys prefer as well and what's your favourite, but I don't think that's available within the videos anymore. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Tell me if you like this or not and whether I should keep doing this in the future. What's your favourite book cover that you've read this year? And I'll chat to you guys again next time. Bye!